Welcome back to Blueprint DIY. Angelina here to give you a quick tutorial on how I made patches for my Afro Alien Bomber Jacket. And these patches are cool because they are made from old denim and fabric scraps. So I thrifted this jacket in my last thrift haul for 25 cents. Yes, I said 25 cents. So if you want more details about my super inexpensive thrift finds, definitely check out that video at the link above. So I ordered two sets of random patches from a site on AliExpress and I was very pleased to find some alien and space themed patches in the mix. I also have some patches and pins that my husband and I have collected over the years. I also need to give a quick shout out to Jamie. Hi Jamie from the channel APG Jamie. She made this awesome pin for me from Mixed Media Art. She has a tutorial on it on her channel that I've linked in the description box so you can definitely check that out if you like. So here I'm just pinning down my patches where I want them so that they don't move around while I'm ironing. But let's make the NASA patch first. To make this patch, I'm going to use pins, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a piece of denim, thick interfacing or felt, and a printout of lettering that I made in my word processing program. I'll also use fabric glue, heat and bond, and an iron a little later. I'll add a link to the font in the description box. So first, I'll cut the paper a little closer to the lettering so that it's easier to work with. Now I'll pin it to the denim and cut out the lettering. Once it's all cut out, I can add fabric glue to the back and press the letters down on a piece of interfacing or felt. Now you can cut the interfacing out a little bit away from the denim lettering to get the true patch effect. Okay, so now I'm going to rough mine up a little because since it's denim, it might as well be a little bit distressed. Now we'll use our heat and bond to make it iron on to the jacket. So cut a piece of heat and bond paper out a little bigger than the patch. Then put the shiny side of the heat and bond paper to the back of the patch and lay both down so that the dull side of the paper is facing up. Now lay an extra piece of fabric on top of that and iron on high for two seconds with no steam. This will cause the glue to attach itself to the patch. Now let it cool. Once cool, you can cut away the excess paper. Once all the excess is cut away, you can peel the paper backing off to reveal the iron-on glue. Now you can iron it down to almost any fabric you like. When ironing, I always iron mine from the inside of the garment for about 8 seconds at a time until the patch is fully affixed to the garment. Pay special attention to any corners because those are normally the first to start peeling up. Okay, so now I have all my patches ironed on, so let's make this Afro Alien Girl patch for the back of the jacket. For this one, I'm going to use denim, scissors, a random piece of green scrap fabric, and my Afro Alien Girl printout. I made this one myself by combining a couple of images and I've linked the image for you below. Okay, let's cut out the stencil and pin it down to the denim. Now I'll cut the denim to match the stencil. Once that's done, I can remove the pins and cut the face away from the rest of the stencil. With heat and bond already ironed to the back of my green fabric, I'll pin the face stencil down and cut it out. Once it's all cut out, I can peel the paper backing and iron it down on top of the denim. Now I'm not even going to try and lie and tell you that I have any type of method on how I did the lips. I first tried to use the stencil as a guide, but that didn't really work. So I ended up just using the needle and red thread to freehand some lips. So they're not perfect, but it works. So now I'm going to rough up this afro a bit by distressing the denim. I frayed the edges with my fingers and decided at the last minute to use my seam ripper to really add some distressing. At any rate, once you're done, just apply the heat and bond to the back just like before and iron it to your jacket. So there you have it, my creation of something super quirky just like me. So if you were to customize a jacket, what would be the theme? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for many more tutorials to come. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.